This video is an overview of the Impact Dot Matrix printer. However, the M9 M11 installation and operation manual should always be considered the primary reference sources for any information about the autoclave. The Impact Dot Matrix printer is designed for M9 and M11 ultraclave sterilizers to provide a permanent record of cycle times, temperatures, and pressures during a cycle. Warning. Disconnect all electrical power to the unit before removing any of the unit's covers or making any repairs to prevent the possibility of electrical shock. Failure to comply with these instructions could result in serious personal injury. Remove covers. Assemble printer. Unplug sterilizer power cord. Using a flat-bladed screwdriver, pry cover plate up, then remove. Remove right-hand side panel of the autoclave. To remove the right-hand panel of the autoclave, Remove three screws on the right hand, two screws on top, and one on the back. Pull panel out and push down to release. To connect the printer to the sterilizer, route printer harness through slot and top cover. Connect harness to printer terminal on PC board. The connection is labeled to printer. To install or replace the paper roll, turn printer on its back. Unroll two to three inches or five to seven and a half centimeters of paper. If necessary, cut a straight edge on the paper to feed into the printer slot. Remove printer cover from printer. To remove printer cover, bend the housing slightly to release tabs. Feed approximately 1 quarter of an inch or 6.4 millimeters of paper into the printer slot. While holding paper in place, press and hold the paper feed button until 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter of paper comes through the slot in the printer cover. Then release the button. Replace the printer cover onto the printer and manually feed the paper through the slot in the cover. Pull 2 inches to 3 inches, or 5 to 7.5 centimeters of paper through printer cover. Insert paper roll, spindle, into slots of spindle holder as shown. Turn the paper roll to remove slack in the paper feeding to the printer. Replace the side panel and secure with screws. The back lip of side panel must be outside of the back panel. If the printed material is difficult to read, and you suspect a dried out ribbon is the cause of the problem. Advance to a properly inked portion of the ribbon by pressing the paper feed button for three seconds. If this procedure does not correct the problem, replace the cartridge ribbon. Install the printer assembly back into the printer cavity. When the sterilizer is plugged in, the printer is automatically powered up and initialized. No user intervention or setup is required. Using paper rolls larger than 1.97 inches, or 50 millimeters in diameter, may cause the paper feed mechanism to slip and or damage the printer. To replace the cartridge ribbon, remove printer assembly from top cover. Remove the printer cover. Bend the housing out slightly to release tabs. Push down on the side of the cartridge marked eject, then remove cartridge. Install the new cartridge. Be sure the ribbon is inserted in front of the paper and flat against the paper. Press cartridge down until it snaps into place. Turn the cartridge knob clockwise until ribbon is tight. Install printer cover and position printer on sterilizer. For more detailed information about your Autoclave's printer, please refer to the M9 M11 installation operation manual. For further support, contact Midmark Support Services at 1-800-MIDMARK.